What's up, good people? It's your girl Ashley, and this is another episode of Cool, Calm, and Crawford. As you can see, I am currently driving. We're doing our 28 week um, glucose test and labs. And since I have not recorded the first and second trimester recap, we're going to go ahead and squeeze that into this video. So, this video will be all about pregnancy and pregnancy updates, what's been going on, all that good stuff. It's just going to be vlog style. So, ride on with me down to good old Tucker, Georgia, y'all. And I'll see you when we get to the doctor. Okay, y'all. So, we have made it into the doctor. And I had to do the glucose testing. And this time, it was clear. If you could see the little substance in there. Uh... It tasted like a, a Sprite or something. It wasn't bad. And then I just had to take this little questionnaire. <laughs> and I'm like, what in the world? Some of the questions on there are hilarious. But um, yeah, just sitting here waiting for the doctor. I was like 20 minutes late and I thought my appointment would have got canceled, but it didn't. Um, and I see today, hold on y'all. I see today they have a bag in here. So I'm curious to know what's in that bag. But let's throw this back in the trash can, y'all. Hold on. Okay, guys. So it is many hours later. And earlier in the vlog, you did see me go to the doctor and take the glucose test and do all my labs or whatever for 28 weeks testing so i wanted to come and actually finish out what happens in the 28th week and then also talk about the first and the second trimester do y'all like my hair this is new for me on the channel but i love my hair i took my braids down from earlier and i like my hair like this so i think my mom's gonna have to start helping me uh to do my hair like this more but anyways yes 28 weeks is within the third trimester and if you have Kaiser Permanente, they are going to call you in to do your glucose testing. You have to run your labs again. And with them in that visit, you're going to do a Tdap. Now, a Tdap is a shot for um, whooping cough. And that basically helps to vaccinate yourself, but also um, it's going to help with vaccinating the baby so that's very important then they also give you this nice little packet and within the packet it just talks about your hospital stay leaving the hospital um and they also give you the registration form for whichever hospitals that you are going to go to and this is Kaiser Permanente in Georgia guys um something else that is new because they didn't do this the first time they did give me this nice bag <laughs> And we're just gonna unwrap it on here. And it says, Kaiser Permanente family, watch us thrive. But, um, oh, so there are some goodies in the bag. So, first, you get a card. Let's read it. I'm gonna have to show my husband this. Wonder, discover, grow, dream. Thrive, Kaiser Permanente baby. Oh, and then you can um take a, a picture of your baby when the baby gets here and then tag Kaiser in it. But it says, congratulations on your new baby. We're so honored you chose Kaiser Permanente to join you for this important milestone. Sending out best wishes to you and your little one for many more milestones to come. Sincerely, your Kaiser Permanente care team. And you know what, too? The crazy thing is, I probably got this because I have been going to a different um, branch of Kaiser here in Georgia. Uh, and they, they've been offering better care. I will say that. So, also in the bag, you get these cute blue hospital socks. Oh, snap, y'all. So, I'm getting some stuff to put in my hospital bag. And then you... Oh, this is so cute. Cute. They give you like this baby gown. I'm not gonna. It's so cute. 
and it's for zero to six months oh let's fold that back up because that's cute and then oh this is so nice they give you a blanket and i love this blanket because it's it's befitting for a boy it has like all the little animals on it and all that good stuff that is so nice so boom there goes the makings of a hospital bag right there so i'm going to show my husband this shortly and that'll be nice but anyway so that's everything that happens at 28 weeks so from here on out it's going to be more appointments um then you do get a breast pump when you're with kaiser and i'll show you guys that when the time comes now just to do a quick uh recap of the first and second trimester so the first trimester is weeks uh one through 12 yeah weeks one through 12. i started off um my first trimester in june that's basically when we found out that we were pregnant and then we tested positive on 6 22 and then i you know had my um first doctor's appointment and that was at like week five uh within the first trimester and y'all this is gonna go really fast because it doesn't need to take that long i began to have morning sickness around week six and by this time i had gained 10 pounds and y'all i'm reading from this little book that kaiser permanente gives you when you um go in for your initial appointment so that you can kind of track everything not falling off track but that's okay so like i said at around week six uh morning sickness began and then i gained 10 pounds by that point which is not really good but that's just how my body works in pregnancy some women are going to gain up front some women are going to gain on the back end some women are going to look like they're not even pregnant but me i am one of those that you can tell i'm pregnant we got a confirmation ultrasound at appointment eight so they wait well week eight they wait until then to kind of really really confirm everything and this is where we saw the baby's heartbeats and y'all know that little saying or whatever that girls heartbeats tend to be higher than boys well this initial appointment at week eight his heartbeat was like 144 so in my mind i kind of was like mm, that ain't good <laughs> because hubby and i were hoping for a girl the second time around um then at week nine for me in the first trimester i started spotting and it was heavy spotting okay so i went into the er they ran some tests they did an ultrasound um and then i got put on bed rest at week nine um there still was kind of no explanation for anything but maybe my body um was in shock that we're going through this again so it just started doing what it wanted to do and yeah i got put on bed rest at week nine so from week nine to about week 12 i still had light spotting still was on bed rest and um you know they still were doing their normal tests and everything at the appointments just to check and make sure the baby was fine and all that jazz at week 11 we did have an appointment and um heart rate was 165 at that one so we thought there was some hope that we were having a girl so we were still kind of hopeful there but uh, second trimester came which is week 13 through 27 and um, I was still on bed rest uh, at week 13 because I was still spotting then I started having um, a little soreness down below and it's like all this stuff for me was happening early on some women pelvic pain doesn't come until third trimester tell in but everything for me started happening up front um the notorious heartburn began at week 14 and then i started itching within that week as well but i think the itching was caused by the prenatals that i was on so 
so I went on ahead and changed my prenatals from taking a pill to a gummy now most doctors will say that pills are uh, better than gummies because you're getting more nutrients from the pills but do whatever works for you um, your prenatals are just supposed to be a supplement to your diet now I haven't had the best diet but for normal pregnancies and women who do what they're supposed to do your prenatals are supposed to be supplements basically for um, you know a well-balanced diet so you should be getting all the nutrition that you need from your diet anyway now at week 15 we did find out the gender and then we, we reconfirmed the gender with an outside ultrasound from um, this company that we found and I never knew gender disappointment was a real thing but it is so that's when we found out we were having a boy but it didn't take too long or whatever for us to come around so unfortunately week 16 through 19 I have nothing on this paper because um, we were taking some time to process everything and you know feel comfortable with what we were told about the gender but now we're very elated and definitely cannot wait until baby is here so at week 20 we had another anatomy scan at week 20 kaiser is going to do your um, anatomy scan and then from that that'll let you know the gender of your baby but we already knew it because like i said at week 15 we found out because we did testing and all that good stuff so cool at week 21 we were told that our little one um is having a little medical issue i'm not going to go in depth about it because i just don't feel like um we should be putting all that out on the internet but um for those who personally know me they know what i'm talking about and what's going on for all the cutie crew and those out there who have subscribed yet who are watching this video just pray for our family and that's where we are now, right now. and that brings us back to week 28 which was today but hopefully i can edit this vlog to make all of this make sense um definitely thank you guys for going on this ride on this journey with us the second time around um i didn't get to record much with my first pregnancy because that's when i was thinking about starting youtube didn't start it and then ended up making a channel later within that year but um definitely go ahead and hit that like button if you like this video also comment down below if you are expecting if you would like to be expecting soon or you know if you just want to give me well wishes and all that i haven't been posting too many pregnancy videos because those haven't done very well on this channel so that's why it's like why is everything so splotchy with your pregnancy but it's all good and last but not least hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you will know when we post more videos like this on this channel and just go back and watch all of the other videos if you're new here and want to get to know the Crawford family okay cool but for all my OGs make sure uh, and for the new cuties make sure that you stay in cool calm and Crawford and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye